Law of Attraction in a Week by Victoria Lalo. Monday, Law of Attraction in History. Before learning the principles of Law of Attraction, Law of Attraction, and how to apply them, it is important to first understand where this belief is placed in history, and how how we have come to understand its benefits. Since the dawn of the prefrontal cortex, human consciousness has sought answers to the phenomenon seen around them. What was once seen as magic from a higher deity or god has more recently come to light as scientifically explainable outcomes based on the laws of physics governed by the universe. In today's chapter, we will learn about how the law of attraction has been used in the past and its place in its modern reality. What is the self-help industry? Our desire for pleasure and avoidance of pain is biological. All living matter in the universe actively seeks experiences that elevate the levels of happy chemicals in our system and takes precautions against conduct that decreases these. It's the interval drive of nature to adapt to the environment so that more contentment and security can be felt. Even the single cell bacterium will fight for its survival. It is for this reason that everybody at some point in their life will become focused on self-development. It is in this search for happiness that drives us to evolve. As a species, our sophisticated brain structure allows us to analyze and predict the future and make conscious decisions about what will boost our happiness levels. Hence, enter the study of psychology. Self-help and the new thought movement have been highlighted in the media as a new age belief, an industry worth billions. Surprisingly though, the most renowned titles within the self-help genre were written many de decades ago, notably Think and Grow Rich, As a Man Thinketh, The Science of Getting Rich, and Your Invisible Power, to, make, to name a few. The principles of the Law of Attraction are also mentioned throughout religious texts, which we know are more than like 2,000 years old. For example, Jesus himself proclaimed, If anyone says to this mountain, Be lifted from your place and hurled into the sea, and has no inward doubts, but believes that what he says is happening, it will be done for him. I tell you then, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received in, and it will be yours. Jesus, Gospel of Mark, chapter 11, verse 23, 24. He was also a man who knew the importance of living in the moment, living for now. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal, bestow yourselves treasures in heaven. Jesus Gospel of Matthew chapter 6, 19 through 20. A closed literature relative of the Bible is the Quran, which states, and remember, when your Lord proclaimed, if you are grateful, I will surely increase you in favor. Al Quran 14.7. Not surprisingly, it is Buddhism that is the religion. It isn't really a religion as such, more of a way of life that is most universally recognized as the practice of law of attraction. One of the most infamous Buddha quotes being, when you think what you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. The reason the industry seemed to emerge all of a sudden is because more and more people are waking up to the rat race and realizing that this cannot be all that there is. From extraordinary rates of depression to the desire to explore exotic lands, the modern homo sapien is now looking for more magical solutions to its problems. For too long, we have been failed by the pharmaceutical industry and the leading capitalist families, 
growing tired of being used as robots and guinea pigs. Our curiosity taught us that there is more to the world than meets the eye, which fascinates us enough to seek further truth. It is this constant failure that has caused our species to hit rock bottom. Fortunately, once at rock bottom, the only way left to go is up. It is on this rise back that we have we have begun to reconnect with Gaia, rekindling the connection between our physical mother and our spiritual father so that we can achieve heaven on earth. This is where the law of attraction comes to play. With the help of supporting scientific research, advances in physics in particular, which will be discussed later, and the film The Secret, the law of attraction has taken a cool turn and is fast becoming the norm within friendship group coffee conversations. The idea of being in control of our own lives at a time when the world is being so is being condemned as a dangerous place gives us hope. So where did it all begin? The law of attraction in history. Within the modern materialistic reality the vast majority of our lives are spent seeking solutions to our debt worries and popularity burdens, which are just as stressful on humans' physiology as the ancient saber-toothed saber cat and foraging for food in the winter. The key difference is that the saber-toothed cat would disappear after a few hours, whereas the landlord isn't as forgiving when requiring this month's rent. Nonetheless, Stress and worry, to an extent, is part of human nature. It has ensured our long reigning survival as we use this power up, as we use this to power up our plans for the future. By knowing what is a danger, we can avoid it. It is instead the longevity of the stressor that impacts our mental, physical, and spiritual health. Our perception of the world is actually unique to each of us based on the lessons learned and individuals' experiences. In short, the brain makes assumptions about what it believes is happening based on its evaluation of similar situations that occurred in the past. To conquer the future then, we need to look to the past. Science doesn't doubt that many species of human once roamed the planet sometimes even intergreeding. So what allowed the African Homo sapien to flourish whilst others became extinct? Spirituality, connection, law of attraction? It is speculated that even prehistoric humans manipulated the effects of the law of attraction by using cave paintings, sometimes in a trance state prior to a hunt, as a way of visualizing and ensuring a successful kill. The tribe would see the cave paintings and feel inspired. In this way, it was believed that if the animal appeared, then it was the divine universe giving it as a present in return for gratitude, appreciation, and expectation to maintain peace and balance. In this way, the animal was seen as superior to man, as they hold all the power to sustain the entire race, so had to be appeased. Shortly after the prehistoric age, humans rapidly evolved into more sheltered, agricultural-based societies within Egypt and surrounding areas that are similar to our standards today. The earliest of these cultures were the Sumerians. They habitated what is now known as southern Iraq. The Sumerians are best known as the first. They were the first to use a government kingship system, first to use mathematics and measurements that are still used today, such as the 60 minute hours and the base 10 and decimal system, first to use urban planning and agriculture, and so on. The list is endless. Interestingly, the Sumerians were also the first to use cuneiform script, which they carved on clay tablets. This form of cuneiform writing was used for over 3,000 years and recorded their stories and way of living. Among these tablets that detailed how the Sumerians received information from spiritual beings that taught them volumes of incredible knowledge, 
including how to perform complex brain surgery and heart transplants, information that we are now only just discovering. The Sumerians called their gods Anunnaki and believed that the human role in the universe was to serve these gods. They prayed and made offerings to please them, as whatever was offered was returned in abundance. They even wore crystal amulets and believed that their souls would continue to exist with the gods after death. Theories around this include mythical origins, ex extraterrestrial intervention, and the use of psychedelic trances induced both internally and externally to reach altered states of consciousness and higher planes of existence. It is just coincidental that humans evolve so I'm sorry. Is it just coincidental that humans evolve so quickly after developing spirituality? And what caused this shift into consciousness? In all honesty, in any ancient ritual, be it by Sumerians, Aztecs, Egyptians, Native American Indians, or even the tribes still thriving within the Amazon rainforest, was based around the concepts of the Law of Attraction. Ask and it is given. These were rituals of influence and intent, a way of communicating desires to higher beings. Many of us have similar rituals today, like having to put the right shoe on first or having favored numbers. Even witchcraft can easily be seen as an effect of the law of attraction by use of rituals with influence and intent. The spells and potions conjured during pagan and Wicca rituals could simply, could simply be as easily theorized as a creative way of communicating desires to the universal energy field. By releasing intentions in this way, more energy and focus is put into the visual, visualization process so the universe receives a bigger hit. The witches then live with expectation, knowing that their desire will manifest. Thus, they are living in a state on reality that the universe will work to balance it out. The law of attraction. Man playing God. Law of attraction is seen by many as a secret law that man forgot. The truth is far simpler. We found easier solutions. Humans discover that by manipulating energy synthetically, we could overcome our perceived difficulties, like being able to genetically modify plant seeds rather than praying daily, watching TV rather than real life, and going to the supermarket for convenience food rather than actively searching for our own. Clearly, what man really forgot was to plan for the future and to recognize our role as a part of the universe. Basically, man became greedy. But for the words of Newton, every action has an equal reaction. If we tamper with the balance of nature, balance must be restored one way or another. If we tamper with the genetic balance of plant seeds, they tamper with the, gene they tamper with the genetic balance of our bodies. If we condone the imprisonment of animals our own, for our own entertainment, we fund the belief that physical pleasure is more important than spiritual connection. <laughs> Therefore, it wasn't that humans forgot about the law of attraction. It is more like humans thought they could play God and get away with it. Mm. To restore this balance, we must go back to the ways of early civilization. The ancients who respected the planet more than their bankers. That, that doesn't mean banning technology and returning to life living in trees. It means that we must remember our roots. The reason feeling happy and in love feels so natural is because it is. Love and thankfulness are at the core of law of attraction and are the highest vibrational frequency that humans can physically feel. And this isn't speculation, it's science. Nowadays, the self-help industry predominantly focuses on positive psychology, 
This is due to the endless research that supports how the brain and nervous system control the entire human physiology, proving the importance of happiness on our holistic health. Positive psychology is also an increasingly popular degree option at a number of universities. The result of this is an overwhelming number of positive psychology promoting books and workshops that charge a fee. Hence the added illusion of the industry being a more recent philosophy. This has put an emphasis on the study of epigenetics. Epigenetics is the title given to the scientific research behind how the environment influences our DNA and corresponding health. Research within this has shown that our inherited DNA physically changes in response to stimuli, whether that be externally from the physical environment or internally, such as from our mood. This alters the ratio of hormones within the blood. From these studies, not only have researchers discovered that our thoughts directly influence our DNA expression in this life, but they have also proven that parental beliefs influence the personalities of their offspring, thus demonstrating how cultural actions and even interactions with others leave biological impressions on the brain. This is exciting in modern times as we seek ways of upgrading our spirituality and well-being further. Consequently, pe people are becoming more and more aware of the effects of their behavior on their children and grandchildren and know that simply handing down genetics isn't the most efficient way to forward. especially as these genetics are so heavily affected by outside interference. Through the bloodline of our physical genes diminish very quickly. Comparatively, epigenetics has confirmed that it is our non-physical connections and actions that make us immortal. For instance, Elizabeth II is a direct descendant of William the Conqueror. Yet it is unlikely that she bears even a single one of the king's genes. And let's be honest, stories of Diana's love and kindness will far outlive the memory of any royal's years on the throne. Clearly, we should not seek immortality or purpose in just reproduction. Rather, we should contribute to the world's culture. Making children a priority is innate, but it's important to remember that every action you take will influence their perception, overall expression, and corresponding mental well-being. So if you have a, a good idea, if so if you have a good idea, use it. Compose a tune, write a poem, take a photo, paint a picture, create something that may live on intact long after your genes have dissolved in the common pool. In the words of Gandhi, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. Try this. For one day, try to remain conscious of your emotions. Notice how certain situations make you physically feel. One of the first steps towards taking control of your life is awareness of the physical body. The Summary The Law of Attraction is weaved into our DNA. Even before we are aware of the expl explanations of how it is happening, Mankind knew why and what. From the Stone Age cave drawings to the Aztec rain dancing and Egyptian harvest festivals, the foundations of LOA or Law of Attraction can be easily seen throughout the timeline of mankind. Nowadays, in a world engulfed with depression, going back to our roots by understanding and using its principles are natural and essential. The Law of Attraction is an old time is as old as time and by understanding its components we can use it more effectively. The law of attraction is undoubtedly a complex phenomenon but this book seeks to explain the current beliefs about this thoroughly over the remaining of the week. So that is Monday. So Monday uh, they wanted you today they want you to basically try to uh, be aware of your emotions throughout the whole day and I know this video got posted kind of late so we will have
Tuesdays early in the morning. 